Hey guys, how's it hanging and welcome back to our channel. With more than 8 million species of living things on Earth, it's no wonder that nobody knows or has seen them all. If you wanted to look at 8 million pictures of all the cool animals roaming the Earth, it would take around 8 years if you spend 30 seconds for each photo and would do it non-stop without any breaks for eating or sleeping. Let's have a look at the strange animals that look like lice but are real. Number 6. Hooded Seal Cystophora cristara, also known as bladdernose seal, is a large grayish seal with dark spots that are found in the open waters of the North Atlantic and Arctic Oceans. Hooded seals range from the Svalbard Archipelago and the Barents Sea to the Gulf of St. Lawrence. Average-sized adult males measure about 2.6 meters, 8.5 feet long, and typically weigh between 300 and 400 kg, 660 and 880 pounds, whereas average-sized females measure 2.5 meters, 7 feet, and weigh between 160 and 230 kg, 350 and 500 pounds. Hooded seals are named for the nasal ornamentation occurring in mature males. Hanging like a wrinkled sack when relaxed, the appendage can be inflated to become a hood that covers the front of the face and the top of the head. Adult males also have an elastic nasal septum that can be inflated to become a reddish balloon in front of their face. These two unusual features have a role in attracting females and, when competing for females, advertising strengths to other males. That's a smart strategy. But these males are evenly matched. It's on to punching. Number 5. Rosy Maple Moth The rosy maple moth is a species of small moths from North America, but is often called the Great Silk Moths. Known for their charming and vibrant looks, the caterpillars of these pink and yellow creatures also have a distinct identity with the individual name Green Striped Maple Worm. The moths are also a popular choice in the pet trade. Individual rosy maple moths typically live for about 2 to 9 months. The upper limit comes down to 5 months in captivity. Rosy maple moths are spread across Nova Scotia West through Quebec to Ontario and Minnesota. They are also found to the south throughout Florida, the Gulf Coast, Dade County and the eastern part of Texas. Currently, no regional subspecies of this moss have been defined. Number 4. Ai. Ai, Dobintonia madagascariensis, a rare squirrel-like primate of Madagascar, the sole living representative of the family of Dobintoniid. Nocturnal, solitary and arboreal, most ayais live in rainforests of eastern Madagascar. However, fossils from Egypt and Kenya dating to 34 million years ago suggest that the ancestors of present-day ayais originated in Africa before dispersing to Madagascar. The ayai is known for its unique hand structure, especially for its unusually third digit. The eye is about 40 centimeters, 16 inches long, excluding the bushy 55 to 60 centimeter, 21.6 to 23.6 inch tail. Covered with long, coarse, dark brown or black fur, it has a short face, large eyes, and ever-growing incisors like those of rodents. Boreal, and to find food, they go around tapping their fingers on trees and listening to the acoustics to find hollow areas. Where Number three, vampire deer. Also known as Barking Deer, the Munchak Deer is native to South and Southeast Asia. Munchak Deer have a very unique and fascinating appearance, especially their long pair of canines and antlers. Male Munchaks have small antlers that slope backward on, on top of their long fur-covered base called a pedicle. Their antlers are usually straight with no branching, which can regrow when they break them during fights. Speaking of fights, they tend to combat for territory using their tusks with other males. These vampire deers inhabit deciduous or coniferous forests, preferably with a diverse understory as well as scrub and overgrown urban gardens. Munchaks are notorious browsers and they eat shoots from shrubs, woodland herbs and brambles. Just so you know, munchaks are very brave little deer who aren't afraid to attack anything that threatens them or their young. In Britain, people consider them as one of the most destructive animal pests. 
That's because they damage young trees and coppiced woodland, and they can even cause damage to cereal crops and orchards. Number 2. Giant Isopods Giant isopods belong to the clade Euarthropoda, class Malacostraca, and order Isopoda. There are 20 species of giant isopods, including Bathonomus affini, Bathonomus gigantus, Bathonomus brucei, Bathonomus bruschi, and Bathonomus crocher, among others. The species Bathonomus gigantus is arguably the largest isopod globally. These isopods are close relatives of shrimps and crabs. In 1879, French zoologist Alphonse Milne Edwards became the first man to clearly define the genus of giant isopods from samples he and his colleague collected from the Gulf of Mexico. Giant isopods are a good example of abyssal giganism, deep sea giganism, where animals that dwell in the deep sea are larger than their relatives that live in shallow waters. Giant isopods are gentle feeders. Researchers also believe that giant isopods live in a constant state of semi-hibernation, probably because they take time between meals due to the low supply of food in their habitat. In addition to the compound eyes, giant isopods also use other senses in the antennae to communicate and move. To the wood lice, which you get living on dead trees and so on, but except these ones are massive. They're usually about a foot long. Number 1. Blue Parrotfish Blue parrotfish are part of class Actinopterygii, which includes ray fin fish. They can be found in coral reefs in the Western Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean Sea. Their scientific name, Scarisaruleus, comes from the Latin words meaning bluefish. They also get their name from their fused teeth that resemble a beak. They are part of the family Scaridae, which includes 10 genera that all share the same beak-like feature. Blue parrotfish are blue with a yellow spot on their heads as juveniles and are solid blue as adults. They are the only species of parrotfish that are solid blue as adults. Their size ranges from 11 to 29 inches and they can weigh up to 20 pounds. As juveniles, their snout bulges outward. Blue parrotfish, as well as all parrotfish, have jaws with fused teeth giving them a beak-like appearance. They have a second set of teeth in their throats called a pharyngeal apparatus that crushes the hard rock and coral they swallow. They are daytime creatures and seek shelter during the night. They do so by secreting a mucus that masks their scent, tastes bitter, and makes them harder to find. The mucus has holes on each end to allow water to flow over the fish as it sleeps. Males can also intensify their colors to deter any threats. They move in large groups of 40 individuals with a male leader and the rest females. The male is very aggressive, chasing intruders as far as 20 feet away from the group. And that about wraps up this video which we hope you guys found insightful. And if you did, don't hesitate to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And while you're at it, don't forget to watch those two videos on your screen. See you next time!